Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Ah, oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Hmm. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. The Sabbat. Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it, and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Yeah, this is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. <laughs> All right, I guess. Come back when you're ready to go. But don't be too long, Fledgling. This isn't really something we planned around your schedule. You ready to go?
Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear ya. stash they promised they'd make us just like them you know what that means that means we never die we get super strong we can even fly and shit we can even fly why not don't they fly in the movies yeah i guess so and like oh, you dropped your brother you can hit his whole crew the bullets and do jack shit i tear their asses up with who's there yeah yeah it's not so bad you'd be stupid not to run with this crew they said they run whole cities you understand that working with the crew that runs a whole city you can do anything you want. Kill anyone who gets in your way. Fly all over the place. And what about me?
feet, brother. <laughs> Your handiwork, I presume?
You're new to this life, aren't you? I'd wager you haven't insulted some of the older ones yet. But this is a city of opportunity. I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Thin bloods, they're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred, hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Beckett. Well, I know of him. Why? No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our... condition. What do you need? That was just silly vampire politicking, Cupcake. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body, and look what happens. Oh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. What do you need? Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. Probably some Kate of getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the Sheriff tracks this guy down, they're gonna make one hell of an example of him. He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the Sheriff, really, except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory.